And I'll turn off the face cam. What's going on here? Breakfast! Sorry guys, but seriously, what's going on guys? Uh, Jack Taylor here, and today I'm bringing you a little sort of commentary, story time, sort of cut on um, Counter-Strike. I'm in a really good mood, I'm not too sure why. Um, I think it's because I've just literally woken up. Uh, well, I woke up about two or three hours ago, and I sort of just laid in bed, and having that laying has just been so fucking nice, because I've been waking up super early for work the last, like, three or four days. The probably another reason I'm in another fucking good mood is I literally, I went into the cupboard to get my bowl out to get some generic Cocoa Pops or Shreddies. Uh, they're just my standard go to breakfast. I'm not too sure why I'm telling you guys that, but if you ever wondered what I had for breakfast, there you go. Anyway, back to the story. Got out my bowl for my cereal, and there was four pancakes in there. Not like the pancake mix you do yourself. They're like American style sort of pancakes, and oh my god, I'm excited to eat these. Literally. You know what? Oh, these are so good. They're so, so good. Oh, I ate that too fast. It's like... Now you've got food in it, you swallow it, and it just sort of slowly makes its way down, and you just... The most awkward thing ever, I swear. But, you may be wondering, Jake, you've only got four of these little pancakes. Uh, I thought you said you eat a load. I do, that's the thing. I'm probably going to go down after this and make fucking eight slices of jam on toast. And now you're probably wondering, Jake, I'm sure I've seen you in videos, and if you eat this much food, how are you not the size of a medium to large eagle? Honestly guys, I'm not too sure. But yeah, actual topic of this video, I keep on getting really distracted. Yeah, uh, basically, I don't believe in karma anymore. I was at work the other day, and I was at the back taking the rubbish out. Uh, we had a lot of deliveries, we had a lot of cardboard boxes, so I was just taking out to the recycling. First off, doing my recycling, that is good karma. I think you guys will agree. Why am I jumping? What? What is... <laughs> what is going on? I don't know what's more of a surprise, the fact that I'm getting distracted so much. The fact that rabbit just appeared from fucking nowhere. Or the fact we're playing Inferno Deathmatch. Like, what happens to us too? Right, so, story. Story time, right now. Right here, right now, story time. Going out the back, doing the rubbish, breaking all the cardboard boxes down, putting it into the recycling bin, being a good fucking individual. Uh, this old woman... This old woman came up to me. She wasn't, like, English. She said how she likes to post things back to her family back in her home country. She didn't actually specify what her home country was. I think she was Greek, though. Don't harm me to that. And if this crazy old lady is actually watching me, and you're not great, I do apologise. I give you my sincerest apology. But she asked if she could have some cardboard boxes. I was like, yep, yeah, sure. We're only throwing them out anyway. Sort of, do you need any more? Because we've got a few more upstairs. I sort of like, go fetch them for you. And she was like, oh yeah, that's great. That's great. That's like, actually like really kind of you. I was like, oh, it's no problem. It's sort of like, it's just rubbish anyway. So, sort of helped her to the car. Uh, put the cardboard boxes in the back of her car. And she thanked me. She was like, oh, that was really kind of you sort of thing. And moved on with my day. That was it. Then I still have some more rubbish to take out, so I went back upstairs. Bearing in mind, our back door is actually the fire escape. Um, so it's a door that you can't open from the outside. It's sort of like a one-way door. You can only go out from it. You can't, if it closes from the outside, you can't reopen it. You've got to walk all the way back around. And I'm sure you guys have already gathered what's going to happen here. Uh, but go back out the back, putting more rubbish into the bin. I have a great job. But I saw this young lady, and she was trying to push her trolley over to get to the back of my car. She had sort of like a little car park out the back of our shop. And she'd just been to Tesco's doing a weekly shop. And there's a small little dip uh, just as she came into the car park. And the trolley went into the dip, and her trolley completely fell over, and her shopping literally went everywhere. So I, sort of, so I helped her pick it up, just being a general nice person. And there I was, went back to the bin, continued putting the last few bits into the bin. I've done a good day today. I've made their day a little bit easier. So it's me. This woman's still sitting in her car. She, I've just sat there and helped her. And she's just literally watching me. Like, walk back into my shop. Well, go to try and walk back into my shop and be shut out. And I literally, I was just like, wow, this is literally just embarrassing. Like, I've just literally made a fool of myself. I've literally gone to try and go back to the door and it's just shut. Literally. And we've got a couple, like, a little step, like, up about two metres away from the actual door. And as I stepped onto that, so I was literally like an arm's reach away from the door and it shut on me. And I tried to like chase it to try and sort of like stop it from closing on me. But the door won't have it. Fate wasn't having it. And Carmel was an absolute bitch to me. Oh, I've got one more pancake, boys. Mmm. Fucking delicious, boys. Oh my god, what the fuck? Did you see that? 